Yo, what's going on, baby? Welcome back to the episode of Stiff Farm. Today's video, Syracuse is live again. Syracuse is more than a football school now, but Fran Brown making some moves in the transfer portal, starting off with quarterback Kyle McCord from the Ohio State University to Syracuse, the guy from New Jersey, coming home in a sort of sense, closer to home, if you want to keep it real. Going to Syracuse, this is huge for Syracuse fans, and it's more than a football basketball school now. It's a football school now. Carrier Dome is going to be live and lit. It's going to come a court last year, 12-1 and as a starter at Ohio State. 66% completion percentage, 3,170 yards passing, 24 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. I mean, 12-1, and and his one loss was the Michigan, the robbery game, the team that went to college football playoff. You know, he had a chance to, you know, go and win the game. He threw a pick in the end to see Ohio State. But after the after that game, and it was looking to, towards the bowl game, they had announced that they're going to New York Six goal against Mizzou. Ryan Day came out and said we got to reevaluate a lot of things, starting off with quarterback position. Common Core didn't really like that, hopped in the portal the next day. And then he, had, you know, took a visit to Nebraska. Everyone thought he was going there. Then he heard rumblings of Dylan Rayola potentially flipping from Georgia to Nebraska, which is a five-star kid. I think a lot of people are questioning his competitiveness nature as he wanted to just go to school that didn't have to compete for anything and just be the man right away. And even at Ohio State, he wanted to battle Devin Brown again. He didn't have to want to battle Aaron Nolan again. He didn't have to battle a bunch of these guys at Ohio State. So he jumped in the portal. And I feel like a lot of people were thrown off by that. But a lot of people were surprised that the starter at Ohio State, who sat behind T.J. Stroud for two years, you know, Marvin Harrison's best friend from high school, that he got him there at Ohio State, did a lot of things for Ohio State, would just leave after one year. A lot of people thought it was was weird and iffy. And I know he didn't really live up to the hype that C.J. Stroud and Justin Fields did, but he still did, went in there and did his job, beat, you know, some teams that were caliber of um, Best teams in Big Ten, Penn State, Wisconsin, different things like that. Did his job to the best of his ability, but didn't come out the best results that they needed for it. Didn't, didn't win the player of the year. Didn't was the first team all Big Ten, different things like that. That looked at him, you know, under CJ Stroud and Justin Fields. I don't think he really liked that. Hopped in the portal, but now he's at Syracuse. Fran Brown has been making moves. Two Georgia receivers have already transferred to Syracuse. He's already been flipping a bunch of guys to the recruiting portal uh, through the recruiting sense. Uh, already as the head coach. Syracuse is on the up and up. Let's get into their 2024 schedule. Start off with their first three out-of-conference games. Ohio, at Army, Holy Cross. And then they play UConn, still TBD. And then all the ACC games are TBD. Let's get into their road games in the ACC at Boston College. That looks like it should be a good game. They should come out on top at Cal. I think that should be another good game for them. At NC State, I think that's a tough one. And at Pitt, that's I feel like those two are so those are the two big games uh, on the road. NC State and Pitt, those two should be dubs. Uh, and then for home, Georgia Tech, I think that should be a dub. Miami, you know the U depends on who they get the transfer portal. They get Cam Ward, DJU. Who, who are some of these guys who get the transfer portal? And they have Stanford at home, Virginia Tech at home. I think ACC. You know, it's iffy. Who's going to be that team to compete for titles? They don't play Louisville. They don't play Florida State. They don't play Clemson. And they don't play North Carolina. They don't play the four best teams in the ACC. I feel like that's going to project them to be one of the best teams in the ACC. The, in the top 25 polls in the, conf, in the college football playoff with 12 teams now. With conference realignment, and that opens up teams in the ACC and the Big 12 to really get into the college football playoff because they don't play big teams like the Big 10. Michigan has like six top 25 opponents. I think this is huge for Syracuse. I think this is a great move for Kyle McCord getting out of Ohio State. You know, he I feel like he didn't really like that getting compared to all these great quarterbacks. So he made a move into the Carrier Dome of Syracuse. That'd be moved by Syracuse. And a good move by Fran Brown starting off the rebuild right, starting off that that new coaching transition, right, by getting a great-time quarterback, Kyle McCord. Great move by Fran Brown. Great move by Kyle McCord.